Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this new earplug set. This is from earpiece.com and they are a new breed of silicone type earplugs. I'm going to be comparing them to what I've been using for years, my Surefires. And I'm also going to be bringing you another perspective. They sent me two sets and I gave one to my friend Josh who puts on a lot more hours than me because he commutes on his bike. We've been testing them now for the last couple weeks. So we have some shared experiences and some unique, and we're gonna go through them. So first of all, they are a pretty standard type, silicone type plug. It's a one size fits all. They are very soft and compliant. They don't have different diameters, and that'll come into play a little bit later. I will say that this is going to be for some of you and not all of you. And it's gonna pretty much depend on your equipment, whether or not you're gonna like this or something like it versus other types out there. So first of all, it has three levels of sound attenuation, very much like the Surefire. What you have is a plug inside the silicone itself. You can see it in red, hopefully you can see it there. And it just slides out. And this is a relatively large size hole, so it has the less of attenuation. And then what they also give you in the box here, and by the way, they send you three of everything. So you get three plugs, in case you lose one, three different sets of attenuation plugs. You have one with a slightly smaller hole, and then you have one that's completely plugged for the most protection. And then they give you a cool little keychain carrying case so you can stick everything in and then put that in your pocket. Very much like the Surefire, you can have no plug and it's basically just a small tightly controlled tube and then you have the little additional piece that you can slide in which has a smaller hole and then you can flip that and completely cap it. Same type of design, however they do work quite differently and in a couple different ways. First of all, it is a similar volume. If I pull this out, it's very much like having this red plug in, this larger of the hole. Even though the hole in the Surefire is larger, they sound about the same as far as the volume. The major difference is what it attenuates. For some reason, two things happen. The high end isn't as rolled off on this. And again, this is gonna be good for some people, not for others. It has a strange effect. And Josh corroborated this when I mentioned it to him. He's like, yeah, it does that for me too. It makes my voice and my breathing and chewing the sound of my mouth, anything like that, somehow amplified in my head. It's a very strange experience. I don't get that with the Surefires or any other plug that I've tried. I don't know why these do it, but it is very pronounced. You stick these in, doesn't matter what plug, and it's, it's like you're in a silence chamber and you just hear everything. It's weird. I don't really dig it. <laughs> I did kind of get used to it after a while, but you pull them out and it's even more noticeable when you pull them out. When you pull the Surefires out, everything just opens up. It's like, wow, all of a sudden you can hear the world, right? Nothing really fundamentally changes. This is like a speaker turned off in your head. It's weird. Now that has a couple other effects. One's good, one's not. It is much easier to hear my speakers in my helmet because the high end isn't attenuated the same way. It's not just like an EQ curve. I don't mean to say that it's cutting the high end. It, it's doing something acoustically in my ears. But I can hear the music a lot clearer and I actually had to turn down for the first time ever my helmet volume to like half to not give me a headache. I, if you try a helmet speaker with like a 30K or a 20S and you crank it all the way up without any earplugs, you'll go deaf. It's really loud. It's made to use with earplugs, right? Well, it's kind of in between with these in. So they're letting more sound through, even, even with the different plugs. Now, the downside to that is, and this is gonna depend on your equipment, 
it lets the drone of the exhaust through. It cuts through and it really gives me a headache. I have an open baffle Yoshi exhaust here on the FZ09. Beautiful sound. I mean, hair on the back of your neck standing up, beautiful triple sound. And with the Surefire's in, no drone, no headache. I can ride all day and have no problem. After half an hour, that drone is just cutting through like a knife into my brain. So again, the different frequencies that are coming in are different between the two earplugs themselves. And no other silicone type plug I've used or reviewed has done that. So I don't know, there's something different about it. But that's really the only um, design negative point that I had. Now, they do have this little tab here and I was really thinking it was gonna be super fragile and you know eventually break off or if you had it stuck in your ear and you know, what do you do then? Turned out that's just a complete non-issue. This thing is super strong and super flexible. No issues there. And it's very easy to grab this and it slides right out. Now that being said, I have very small ear canals. The diameter is very small. And I do not like most types of earplugs. These are the ones that I use, and spoiler alert, still will be using, because they are the only ones that literally disappear in my ears. I can put them in all day, zero discomfort. You just forget they're there and they work. These are slightly larger. Now, the other comparison here, and I have to mention this because it's important to this point. This is a modular system. These Surefires are not a one part. The tips themselves are interchangeable. They have different types. They have these types that you can use instead of the foam. The foam isn't even made by Surefire. It's made by, <clears throat> excuse me, this company called Comply Tips. And they have all different sizes, all different diameters, all different types of foam, and you can match your particular ears. I use the, what is this, the slim short size, and they work beautifully. I've tried different sizes, and they didn't work as well. They were slightly uh, less comfortable, and they were not all day comfortable. Even the slightly longer, and I'm only talking like three millimeters longer, made a big difference. So it is very important to match your ears for whatever you're gonna be using. Now that being said, most people are not gonna have that problem. And this is really close. This is really close. They go in, no problem. That's one nice thing. I don't like how, with these, the easiest way to put them in, because it's kind of like a memory foam. These aren't just foam like a sponge. There's actually some type of material on it. So you can squish them and they take a few moments to come back up and that's how they fit in your ear without any pressure and they, they perfectly comply, hence the name. If you wash these, that's one of their huge downfalls. If you wash this, that material comes out and then they are just straight sponge and they don't work anymore. So you have to unscrew it and you put on a new tip. Luckily they're cheap, but again, you can't wash it. You can wash these as many times as you like because they're just silicone. So that's a plus. And if you're like me, you do have waxy ears, you're gonna be washing them. It just happens. They go in pretty easy. I just give myself a little wet willy, put it in. You can stretch your ear down a little bit, however you need to do it. They don't go in far at all. If you flip these back the other way, you can see that it's only about a centimeter of the actual tube that goes in your ear. And the rest here is just to mold inside your ear canal. With these, you give yourself a wet willy, just spin them real quick to compress them, and then you can slide it in real quick and just hold it there for a couple seconds and you're good. So, a little less effort to put in. However, they don't stay in quite as well. And that kind of bothered me. While I'm riding, one would occasionally just come out a little bit and you can immediately hear it, number one. Number two, you can immediately feel it. These literally in my ears disappear. You don't know you're wearing anything. When these start to move around, you feel them. They're, they're sitting there 
on your ear, right? They also can come out when I'm taking off my helmet. This is again gonna depend on you, the shape of your ears, how your helmet fits, if you have speakers or not, et cetera, et cetera. Lots of variables there. But for me, this flap hits the speakers a little bit because it is sticking out, you know, just a little bit. With these, nothing sticks out. It's completely flush in the ear. And this little silicone bit here goes inside the fold of your ear, so it can't move. It's just sits there perfectly. So you gotta watch it. Obviously, these are a little more apt to fall out, maybe fall on the ground, especially if you're taking off your helmet, whereas these do not. These do not come out at all until you pull them out. So just something there. But again, most people probably won't have that problem. Might just be people like me. So as far as how well they work, you know what? It's nice having the tunability. On the Surefires, I end up running them with the main plug in, but not capped, so the middle setting. That's actually what I prefer also with these, is the middle on uh, this particular one. It's clear inner insert, as opposed to the open one. I just happened to have this one last that I was running today. Both of those completely plugged, way too quiet for me. Uh, it's almost like being isolated and it amplifies the voice in your head even more. Does cut down the exhaust volume, still doesn't cut through the drone. I, I, it must have something to do with the way that this is actually sealing to the canal or not. This is obviously a perfect seal being memory foam and most other earplugs that are silicone that I've used had three or four ribs. So I think they're just getting a little better of a seal to the ear canal itself, as opposed to these just two. And the one is rather large and that's really not sealing much unless you really jam it in there and I don't have the ear canals to do that. So that's just my theory anyway, about why the exhaust drone cuts through with these. But again, that's not gonna be an issue with some people, depending on your bike. On the FJR, which I have a stock exhaust on, there's no drone, so it's fine. There's nothing to notice. If you don't have an exhaust that has a drone to begin with, you're never gonna have to worry about that. So let me look up Josh's responses here. He wrote me a very nice review and uh, I'll see what he has to say as, to, as far as some of this stuff. All right, so first of all, I just gave them the set, said, here you go, use them, and I'll just get your thoughts later. That's it, didn't tell them anything about the company or what to expect or any results I had or anything like that. And for reference, his bike is the Suzuki Bobber that I built. It does have an open exhaust, but it's a much lower tone and it has a drone, but it's a very different drone than this particular Yoshi exhaust. It's not one that'll cut through your head. It's more of just a deep brrrr, kind of Harley-esque lawnmower type deep tone. So we'll see what he says about that. First of all, he starts off and says, they block the right sounds, the wind and exhaust noise is better, but they let you hear the exhaust in a cleaner way. So he actually likes the way that it affects his exhaust on the bobber, that's cool. And spoiler alert, he loves these and he's still using them. So he's been converted. The pros for him outweighed the cons. And like me, he had a first impression of the pull tabs that they were a little weak and he says he now has complete confidence in them, so that's cool. So like I said, he commutes, and he hasn't done any long distance rides, that's more of what I do, and I, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, they do bother me after even an hour. They're not all day comfortable, they never disappear. That's a number one criteria for me, because going on a trip, if I'm gonna be riding 13, 14, more hours a day, they have to be all day comfortable, especially for the rest of the trip. So that's actually paramount. And he says that they're comfortable for his 50 minute commutes. He's not sure if it would be good for two plus hours. So sounds like he's kind of getting the same, but again, for his commutes, they're working fine. 
He says he loves the fact that you can wash them. Again, huge plus there over the Surefire. He says they go in and come out very easily. Ah, here's another pro. He says it's time saving because they're both the same and you can put either one in either ear. Unlike the Surefire, which as I mentioned, use these little silicone guards that fit in your ear flap. They are left to right specific. So you do have to either make sure you have the colored pin in here so you know which one is right, or if you put it on the left, or somehow know what they look like or feel like if you're not using those. He also says he likes that they included three. So if you lose one, you're not out and you have to buy another set because they're matched left and right. Another pro. Interesting, he agree, if you can't tell, I haven't read his feedback yet. He agrees with me about the music level. He says, with the Surefires, he has to have the music on full blast, absolutely. But on these, he has it two or three levels below max and he hears everything just fine. Very cool. He also noticed that the hole sizes look identical, but do have different attenuation factors between the Surefire. And he notes that with the Surefires, he'd have to take them out to go into a store, but he can leave these in and still hear everybody because everything is more clear and the ambient noise. So he wraps up and he says for long trips or highway speeds, he'll take the Surefire, but for durability and allowing better sound situational awareness, he likes these better. So there you go. I think we had pretty similar stuff. And again, he has a little bit different perspective than I do. It's gonna depend on exactly what bike you have, what kind of helmet you're using. It's cheap enough to try and see if you like it. Try the different modes compared to what you're using, especially if you're using some other cheap plug out there. It is definitely the best silicone plug that I've ever used and certainly reviewed. It's almost as comfortable as the Surefires. For me, I don't need the certain advantages that these have. I'm fine with simply buying and replacing tips. They're not that expensive rather than being able to wash them, but not everybody feels the same way. So, you know, they both got pros and cons. Anyway, that's it. I'll put the link down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything, and we'll see you next time.